Great, Al joining us now. It's good to see you again. Welcome back. You know, we've been doing this every year, the start of a game, you know, the start of a season. Uh, last few years on NBC, they are dragging me, Scott, <laughs> from the analog world into the digital world. But I'm ready. I'm excited. Here we go. And it's going to be a great game tonight. Kansas City hosting the Chargers. Yeah. You've got Mahomes. you got Herbert. What a way to begin. You, you got a good one, uh, no doubt. And we miss you in the family. Uh, I, let me say that up front. Um, but aside from having to teach somebody else how to do the slide into the broadcast, like now he's got it, Herb Street's got to do the Collinsworth slide. It, do, is it going to feel any different for the person who's actually calling the action or no? I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. None of us are. And remember, we have Fred Goodelli producing. He's been the Sunday night producer for the last 16 years. It's been the number one show on television for 11 years. So it doesn't get any better in the truck. We have a lot of the same people who provided the production on uh, on Sunday night over those years. So there's a lot of familiarity here. It's just it, it's a it's a different template. We're coming across the Rockies, as I say, in broadband, not in a covered wagon. But, you know, the game is going to look like the game and we're going to do it uh, as well as we can and, and tr you know, try to enhance it. And you don't reinvent any wheel here, Scott. What you do is try to tweak it and just make it a little bit better week after week. And that's what we plan to do. I'm looking at some of that now, some of this new technology, this uh, X-ray instant access to real time stats, next gen stats, player tracking. I mean, it's it's trying to be a fully immersive experience for, for the fans. There's no question about it. And there's alternate feeds as well. Uh, I think we have uh, that group, Dude Perfect. They'll be doing an alternate feed. And the only thing that scares the hell out of me, Scott, is the fact that they get a higher rating than we get. <laughs> I'm going to be in big trouble. But there, there are different ways to watch the game. There are different platforms you can use inside of our platform. So uh, it's, a, it's a work in progress. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited because it's different. It's new. It's something that... Uh, is this going to be the future? Well, we're going to know in a few years for sure. We'll be watching. I, I'm sure uh, others will be, too. Uh, let's talk to markets in the short time that I have left with you, Al, because I know how much you like that. What, what's your investing strategy <laughs> right now? I'll tell you what it is. Number one, wear a blindfold. And number two, take all the cash I have, put it in cans, and bury it in my backyard. I'm scared to death. And that's why I watch you guys all day long. I, I hated Tuesday. I loved yesterday. And today is it's getting a little bit better right now as I'm watching the screen. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any questions uh, for Josh about strategy moves? Have you, have you seriously done anything in the market lately? Not lately, but, Scott, I'm all ears, baby, like Ross Perot. Tell me, tell me, tell me. We've said it uh, on uh, all these occasions that Josh is your unofficial financial advisor. So, Josh, go ahead. Al, you're, uh, I'm assuming, in the high-tax bracket, and I'm assuming your main residence is in a high-tax state. If you Correct. look at, uh, if, if, okay, so if you look at a portfolio of muni bonds right now, on a tax-equivalent basis, yields are approaching like 5.9, let's call it 6%. Um, if you had asked me for 6% in munis any time over the last 10 years, I would have had to apologize. That really, I think gives stocks some heavy competition for people, you know, in a certain age group, in a certain distance from true retirement. I hope you never retire, but that would be something that I would urge you to take a hard look at. It won't be as exciting as trading the 3X leveraged ETFs, but it's way better yes. than putting the money in cans <laughs> in your backyard. I, I hear you, man, and, and, and you're right on, you're spot on <laughs> on that. But you know what? You get to cer a certain point in your life and you know this, Josh. I mean, to me, long-term investing, yeah. next Thursday. <laughs> yeah. You and a lot of other people. <laughs> Al, uh, you're, you're the best no matter where you're broadcasting the games. Uh, we can't wait to see you. It's good to see you again on this program again.